welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Temple is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes it to the 34. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Runs it left for a decent game. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Caught out of the open. They'll bring him down at the 47. They're about four yards away here on second down. That'll make it second and four. Dumps it complete over the middle. Brought down at the 46-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. How about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Has some daylight. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He gets another carry. Runs outside for a nice game. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 31. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws, and it's incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 75 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call in that process. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Gain 
finds his way to the 49-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 49. right around midfield. Here's the give. Makes it out to about the 39. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. up in the pocket quick pass and he's tackled at the 18 good pitch and catch there on second down yep it was good enough to get him the first down that's just a nice play that makes it first and ten from the 18 yard line first down Gains his way to the 10 yard line. That's a game of eight on one play. That makes it second. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Gators. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They come out in a goal line set. He gets hit out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. The offense is down by seven, so this is a very big third and goal. They're on the two-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida is up by four. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Scrambling. Tackle at the 33 yard line.
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He steps up at about the 39 yard line. That's a smart call to exploit the pass rush and open up some space for him. The blockers did a good job of selling that play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Nice run up the middle. Takes the ball inside. He takes it right side for a good game. First and ten. Ball on the 49. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Florida holds a four-point lead. Throws this one away. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down at the 24. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. him for a loss. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 22. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Receiver and he dropped it. From their own 22 yard line, it's second down. He's going right. Pick up some extra yardage. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They got four yards on that one. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. They go to the ground game. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. 
Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time. Quick throw picked off. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. He's at the 20. Right down around the 15-yard line. Just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Florida is up seven. Back with a carry. Touchdown, Gators! He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. But enough for the first down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. That makes it second and so it's second down and about two yards to go. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Open field. Inside the 10. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. The Owls quarterback down there on the sideline, he was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble, and he can't get away from the pressure. The Owls, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. Florida is in front by 11.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Well, as an iconic figure once said, that escalated quickly. Got away a little bit from this team that's supposed to be in control of the game, and now suddenly they aren't. And, David, we, we say this every week. We say this team has to go into the locker room, make some adjustments. They have to change things, have to give a big speech. What's the most important, the most impactful thing that this team could do in the second half to turn this game around? Well, I think you, you come into half and you do have those all those great speeches and you, the coaches do try to get you fired up, but then you realize that you just got to execute. And, and I think you don't come in as, as a favorite, as a more talented team and panic, and that's something that you can't do. So I think the second half, you come out and you try to get some positive things going. You try to get some first downs. Stop thinking about getting the 14 points back right away. Start putting drives together. Then you get points. Then you're down, you know, seven points or you're down one score. You get it more manageable. But listen, when you're the more talented team, you don't have to panic. And I think the coaches tell you, listen, nothing's changed. The schedule's going to stay the same. We just got to make more plays, less mistakes in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 33. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. He's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. From the 29-yard line, 
Second down. Slings it, and he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up. And it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. They'll drop him for a loss. From their own 20-yard line, second down. There he goes. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. He fights forward to about the 30. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. Mike 12. Mike 12. Red two. Easy. Easy. Makes it to the 14. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. They give to the tailback. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. So at the end of three, the Gators lead 20 to six.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 31. The Gators having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Florida is up by a touchdown. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. Defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that. It's going to be a long day for this running back. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. it to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Florida is up a score. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. And they push him out around the 29-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. He gets rid of this one. for the 
the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. And he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. So they're just about set to get the game going again. three yards to get the first here on second down just over two minutes in the game he gets out to about the 21 yard line you like to see a team having success like this running the football it can really open up things for the offense Inside the 10. Touchdown, Gators. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 41-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 30-13. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. But it's incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. five-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. That's a great tackle at the 36, and the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Just over a minute left. He airs it out, and it's intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. and 10. Ball on the 37. They'll bring him down at the 22. it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 30-13, Gator. That 
that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.